Okay, well, my virus scan is finished with uh, BBA Rescue. And I've been asleep about six and a half hours and woke up. And there it is, done. Um, now I've got to go through the. Uh, it says press enter to continue. Let's see, I didn't even read the. It says how many files scanned. Count it as let's see. Contained viruses. Contained viruses. Eight infected. Eighteen. Oh, contain viruses. Infected. Eighteen. File, oh, okay, directories. I was reading left to right, and you really kind of want, you know, they're in categories like a spreadsheet or something. Okay, directories, okay. Contained viruses, eight, deleted, six. Files and archives, infected, 18, suspicious, three. You got a strange way of explaining it. Files on disk. Infected 16, suspicious 2, cured 1, deleted 15. Renamed 8, I believe. Mail messages. It says scanned 163. All 0 after that. Attached files. 242, all zero. Okay, so we deleted six, suspicious three, quarantined eight. All right, let me hit enter. Okay, and there's that CLI interface I was talking about, or wizard, or what you might call it. Oh, the way I got it sitting on my tray, it uh, wants to turn off there. I don't know if I can get in a better position or not. Let's see. And hold the camera. Okay, we don't want to start another scan. But those are the settings I've been talking about that you see at the beginning. Scanner settings, uh, uh, that's where I set everything. As to what I wa <coughs> want it to do. What, where I want what all you want to scan. You don't want to go next to start scan though. You, you won't do any good because you haven't updated. First you got to set up the network, update scanner. You, you could create a bootable uh, drive like a di disk or something. You could unmount the disk, dismount the disk yeah, if you wanted to. It might be something you didn't want to scan or something you could do that. Well, it says all of them though so I, don't, I wouldn't do that. At Midnight Commander is a file manager. You can go through there and look through things if you want. Shell, you can get in there and run commands if you need to, if you want to. Shut down and about. So, uh, but you want to, uh, before you start your scan, you want to update scanner. And then you can go back and start scan. That's what I was saying about it being in a weird order. Because most, you know, most of the time the little wizards are kind of in order of what you need to do, but this one's not. It's not a wizard, it's just a menu. So, uh, this is VBA Rescue. I don't think you can read it on the phone at all, no matter what. VBA 32 Rescue version 3.12.4.2. I've used it for years, at least five, probably more. 
Okay, so I'm going to click on about. Okay, so there's a lot of. Oh, it tells you how to. Uh, that comes up before you get to that menu when you boot it up. It tells you how to run it off the keyboard because it doesn't support mouse. It doesn't have mouse support. So, there's actually no way to go into quarantine or anything. So, that's one disadvantage. Whatever's in quarantine, it'll make a folder. It asked me where I wanted to make it. And I made that. I just picked the one that said C drive. So, that's actually probably going to be my. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it knew what C drive was, but I'm thinking it may actually be. Uh, my FAT32, he may have just put thought that it called uh, the first partition C drive, so we'll see. So anyway, wherever it is, it'll, it'll probably say VBA. Uh, quarantine or something like that. And it could just say quarantine sometimes. They do, all, all of them do different. But there'll be a folder, and you don't want to mess around in that folder because then you'll reinfect your system. But, uh, but as far as where, I mean, you can go in there and you can look at stuff. I do that in Linux if I do that. I don't do it from Windows. And uh, but, how are you gonna know where to put them back to without running the? Uh, can't remember. Maybe if you run it again. It'll find the quarantine folder and ask you, you know, or give you a menu or ask you, do you want to restore files? I don't know. If it doesn't, then that's a real disadvantage of a kavat or a really severely lacking feature in the program. So I don't know. Can't remember. I guess we'll f I'll find out. So I'm going to shut it down because I'm tired and I'm going to try to go back to sleep. All right, this is Don. Bye -bye. Oh, I'm not done yet. Okay. Reboot power off. Power off. Okay. It's shutting down and it's down. It's one thing I like about laptops. They do shut down fast most of the time. Okay. Bye.